All right, guys, it's early morning here in my country and I've been waiting for this trade for a long time and I'm currently up 138% on this trade and I think it's time to close this trade. I'm done with this trade. So let's take the profit right now and then I will explain my thought process. But now let's just take the profit at 138% profit just like this. Boom, I'm now out of this, this slow freaking trade, but I over doubled my account. As you can see here, my $100 is now $235 in one trade only. And as you can see here, the time is uh, 4.50 UTC time zone, which is uh, 6.50 in my time zone. So I'll get back in a moment and I will explain more. All right, I'm back in front of the computer and a few hours ago, I closed my short position after several days in that same short at plus 138% profit. So can we please play some nice music here to celebrate that I finally closed my trade? And now there's a lot of things to talk about right now. First of all, like now I'm at a new like stage in the challenge. My account is now $235. Let me zoom in here for you with small screens right here, $235 from $100 in one trade. And this brings me to the next level in the challenge, right? So now if I can do this six more times, I'm done with the challenge, as long as I can avoid liquidation and avoid losses, right? So I had $100 and I doubled that. Now it's over $200. And if I can do that seven times, the challenge is completed. So I doubled my account one time. I need to do it seven times. So that's one divided by seven. So I'm 14% to my target. And you might think that $200 is far away from $10,000. Yeah, in a way it is far away, but when it comes to the compounding effect, it is 14% to my target at $10,000, right? And I think in tomorrow's video, I will talk more about the compounding effect and I will give some uh, very mind-blowing examples of the compounding effect. But now I want to focus on a few other things. First of all, I now have $200 on my account instead of $100. So I have a few options here. Either I can continue trading with only $100 and try to multiply that again to make room for a liquidation. So if I get liquidated the next trade, I only lose my profits. I don't lose my initial $100, right? But also that would require one extra trade for me because if I trade only $100, it is like starting over, but I'm also more safe in a way because I have one more $100 that I can trade with. So I have to decide if I should go all in with all of the money again to use the compound effect from now on, or should I play it more safe and spend a bit more time on this challenge, right? And I think you guys want to see blood. You want to see liquidation or you want to see huge profits. So I think I'm going to go all in in each trade. But I just wanted to let you know that I have this option to play it more safe and, and to only risk my profit now. The next uh, thing I want to talk about is the criticism I got for calling this a scalping uh, challenge, but staying in the trade for several days, which is not uh, really scalping. And I want to explain why I did this, right? Because we had so low volatility. Usually Ethereum moves like four to 6% in a day, but now it took several days, almost a week to move 4%. So even if I would use like scalping, for example, taking profit at 0.5% with a 50x leverage, even then this series would be slow this week because we had so little volatility. And one more thing as well, I don't really know what I should call this challenge because I look at it more like ultimate fighting or MMA. I mean, I'm a scalper in a UFC competition. I might be a kickboxer, for example. That's my main style, kickboxing. But then I start choking my competitor, right? And that is not kickboxing. But in a fight, I do everything I can to win the fight, no matter what style it is. And my primary style is scalping. And I will start scalping in the challenge as well. But if it's required for me to take a swing position in order to get to my goal, I will take a swing position as well. And this time the market had very, very low volatility and I was super bearish for the price action. So that's why I held the trade for several days. And look at me now, it paid off. I over doubled my account in one trade and I took my profit down here and the price is now going upwards. So I also timed my exit pretty well. And I might re-enter the same position again if I see the right signs and if the price goes up enough for me to re-enter the trade. So I just wanted to address these questions that I know a lot of you guys have. And one more obvious question I also got from the last few videos is like, I'm a scalper. I usually trade on the five minute time frame. I usually take profit at 0.5%. And that style is also very efficient for me personally. And you guys wonder, why do you not use scalping? Because when scalping, it's possible to grow an account from $100 to like $300 in one day instead of one week. But we had a volatility issue last 
week, but I also want to explain one thing for you. Trading like I do, scalping, and even this last swing trade, it's 10 times more difficult and complicated when I'm also required to record all of the trades. You might not think that it's a big deal, but it is a big deal because when I trade off camera, I can exit my positions from my phone. I can enter my positions whenever I want to. I don't have to start the recording and wait for it to start. There's always some lag. And I also need to explain what I'm doing at the same time, talking in front of a camera, which also it takes uh, brain power to also talk at the same time. And I also feel that pressure to perform, to take good trades here and also uh, you know uploading the video and making thumbnails etc so doing this on camera is so much more difficult than doing it off camera so that's why i choose a style a trading style where i don't have to spend as much time in front of the computer because if i would scalp like five to ten trades every day that would be impossible for me to catch all of the trades on camera and you would probably question if this is real or not if i just record like 20 yeah, percent of all trades even this uh, slower style is also more difficult to do on camera so now i hope i addressed all of the questions regarding this and for me it's a scalping challenge because my main style is scalping but it's also like ultimate fighting i do whatever it takes to perform well and increase my account as much as possible and different type of markets might require different type of styles right because this goal is extreme no one is doing it especially not on camera and i might also fail but i'm trying my best i'm doing my best to reach the goal i just wanted to explain to you guys so you understand the complexity of doing this on camera but yeah uh, enough ranting and uh, now i will take a short break i will collect myself i will do some more analysis now and i will come back in a moment to see if we can do one more trade today see you in a bit all right might be time for a new short position on ethereum again because we have that uh, small uh, relief pump that i was waiting for that's why i took my exit because i was afraid that the price would be going up again and now it's been going up uh, one and a half percent and the stock market in the us is opening in 23 minutes from now and the market is still looking very bearish and i'm still bearish even though i exited my trade i'm still bearish for the market overall because nothing has changed really and we didn't test new lows we just tested support so looking at the stock market again we are still in this triangle and i think we are going to break this triangle to the downside probably today so i'm very tempted to go into a short position again here uh, because i mean this looks very much like it's going to go down at least two percent and if it goes down two percent from here i will take my profit at 50 percent profit sorry about my uh, previous drawings here i will uh, keep them here and then change them when i enter a new position these are my custom lines i added before as i'm not in a trade at the moment but i will not take this trade at the moment because what i'm afraid that the stock market will uh, go up even further before the opening of the stock market and i might get uh, squeezed in there so i will wait for the stock market to open and then i will take the position when i have more confirmation or if the price is going to go up even more i'll come back in 20 minutes all right stock market is opening in two minutes and it looks bearish but i'm waiting for the first uh, two minute reaction after the stock market open if we can identify some shift in the market or some potential pump that will destroy our trade but i'm looking for a short again re-entering same short on ethereum the price is uh, about 0.6 percent higher than my take profit on the previous trade all right stock market is now opened and nothing is happening so far all right we're going down shorting right now so I'm now in the short again. So let me just update my numbers here. All right, so I updated my lines here. This is now my new liquidation price. So if the price goes up here, 3.5% from here to here, I am out of this trade. It's KO. I will lose my entire account. If the price goes down here to this line, I will take a 50% profit. Uh, and if we continue even further, I will take a 100% profit. I'm aiming for a 50% profit on this one, depending on how heavy this drop will be. But I'm a bit worried right now because uh, the price is stuck on my entry uh, while the stock market is, is uh, dropping. So I think uh, the stock market needs to really break this line clearly because this is the previous swing low and technically we already broke this line right here but i think we need to break it more than this and once we do that uh, we will have a free fall on the stock market because then we don't have a support line since a very long time let's see when we have support last time here we would need to change to the daily time frame so we are here right now on the stock market and the previous support 
if we break this line, uh, I mean, we will have a free fall to at least uh, this level right here. And that would be um, like a three and a half percent drop on the stock market, which would be probably like 10 percent on Ethereum. So I'm waiting for this line to be broken and hopefully Ethereum can follow when the stock market is starting to free fall. But right now I'm kind of stuck here, uh, but now we're starting to move downwards, which is good. And by the way, as you can see, I am trading on Bybit because I think that's the best exchange for uh, scalping, day trading and swing trading. If you also want to trade on Bybit, you can go down to my description down below in this video. You can click on my affiliate link to create an account. It takes only 20 seconds and you can also get the welcome bonus after your first uh, deposit here. But I want to emphasize once again that what I'm doing here is not recommended. No one should copy me. No one should try this because what I'm doing is extremely risky if the price goes up to this line right here i am liquidated which means i will lose my entire account but i can afford that because the money i have in my account is money that i consider gambling money and i am completely fine losing 100 of my gambling money all right look at this guys we just broke this line and we have a new uh, one hour candle in two and a half minutes and if that candle starts in the red and continue downwards i think this trade is a winner but I will not hold this trade for as long as the previous one. I will play it more safe and I will take my profit uh, sooner, probably already today. Ooh, look at this. The free fall has started. We now officially broke the support on the stock market for the first time in a long time. This is really, really bad for the stock market. And it's bad for crypto. It's bad for everything, basically. We have no bottom for the stock market. Look at this on the daily. Where should the price stop? I mean, it can go down forever here. We could have a very big daily candle here, a red one. We can have one of these, you know, uh, minus five and a half percent on the stock market. We can have one of those. That's not impossible at all. And imagine then Ethereum when the stock market is going down like five and a half percent. That would be a complete mess, guys. I'm here to profit from that. I am one of those guys. Feels kind of bad, but I mean, I'm going to buy back in, in a moment here. And it's a, such a small amount. I don't affect the price whatsoever anyways. It doesn't matter. I'm just a very, very small fish in this game. A small fish who wants 50 or 100% profit on this trade. And looking at Ethereum here, we are testing some significant support line on the daily. Let me put the line here to make it clear we have some daily candles closing in this area and we are now around this range and this could be a bad sign for my short position we could easily wick up here and use this line as a support but considering the stock market has a free fall right now the stock market does not have this support only ethereum which means that ethereum has to be very very strong uh, against the stock market to be able to use this line as a support but when the stock market is completely falling in a free fall then i don't think ethereum can use that line as a support i think we will just crash down from this line could be wrong but that's the most logical thing to happen in my opinion and once we break this line for ethereum i think ethereum will also have that free fall at least for a few more percentages like look at this the next uh, support we have is down here and that would be uh, like i'm um, three and a half four percent down and that's a 100 percent profit for me if we go down there but let's not be cocky here let's be realistic I might uh, be completely wrong and I have to be ready to exit this trade uh, very fast if I see the wrong signs. Price action going upwards uh, in a fast pace. I need to get out as soon as possible. By the way, I also need to emphasize that this uh, short position I took right now is more risky than my previous short position and the reason why it's more risky is that my previous short i entered up here let's make the line a bit thicker here but this was my entry on my last trade so my liquidation price was all the way up here above the 200 ema uh, about here i think but now my entry is down here much closer to the support area and my liquidation price is up here only and that's why this short is much riskier than the last short but this one also have more potential because if we break down, as I predict, the price can go down very, very much from here. But in this trade, I will be a lot more focused and ready to exit the trade if needed. This trade seems to be a bit slower than I thought. We have a weird candle on the four hour time frame on Ethereum. It's a bearish candle, but I, I thought we would crash down pretty straight down. But now we want to form another four hour candle and maybe that one will go down so one more hour on this candle and then the next four hour candle will probably go down this is the one hour time frame on the u.s stock market and uh, we have a clear resistance right here and i think we will 
just continued to crash down right after this one hour candle so i'm still pretty confident about this trade but i cannot exit the trade right now and i need to leave so i will exit the trade tomorrow with that said thanks for watching and see you tomorrow